Hello YouTube. Um, I came here today to tell you guys about my great hair journey that I experienced before um before my hair was a mess. But anyways, um, yeah. Hello YouTube. I came here to show you guys. A Hello YouTube. I came here to tell you guys about my hair journey and how my hair has become all natural and has become this curly. Well, it started back in March, sometime within March. My hair was brittle, it was thinning out, it was breaking down, and I decided, okay, well, since my hair is going to continue to destroy my life and make my head hurt all the time, I'm just going to cut it. Just cut it because I'm about to go to basic training anyway, and by the way, I, I'm in the army. But I decided to cut it anyway. I was like, I'm going to cut it. So I cut at least about three inches for my hair. Three to four inches. And my hair was about here. It was like at this length right here. And I have pictures of how my hair was before I went to basic. And I flat earned it and everything. But when I went to basic, it's like my hair took a total spin. Like... It became curly when I washed it. It shrunk up. It wasn't as bad. Like, I could still comb through my hair, but it wasn't as bad as it was before I had left. Um, I would say the turnaround, when it really started corroborating and it started not breaking off, but just getting curly every time I washed it, and it was easy to just comb through my hair, and a lot of hair wouldn't come out in the comb was when I tried the Carol's Daughter Transition Kit. And I have some examples right now. Um, it, it, the transitioning kit consists of three steps. Um, one, two, and three. Three steps. And the first step is your low, like the low poo, the purifying low poo cleanser, and I'll put the um the information below on like where I got it or whatever. But it's the low poo cleanser, and it doesn't have a lot of shampoo in it. It's just made enough. It's just enough to like get all the dirt out of your hair. And this is just the step one, and and this smells really good. It has like this minty taste to it. The only thing that I don't like about it is they give you so small of a bottle. Like, I need more because I like putting a lot of shampoo in my hair. But I guess that's the purpose of it, not to use a lot. But, yeah, it smells like coconut. And if you like the smell and mint, like, it's a really good refreshing smell for your hair. That was the first step, the poo cleanser. And then it was followed by um, the renewing scalp spray. And I guess this like may, opens up your pores and your scalp and it contains biotin so it really makes your hair really strong. So this scalp spray, you leave it on for like 15 minutes after you like shampoo your hair and you just let it sit. And you can actually feel like when I put it on, I could actually feel my scalp opening up. And it and it's really neat how it came because this is how it like uncovers. You have this cap and then you spray it. It's really neat. But that's the step two. The step three um, is the restoring anti-breakage treatment. And you just put this on your hair. And after you put it on, you just wait another 15 minutes. And, um, and then it kind of like, I guess, restores the moisture back into your hair. And it defines your curls and all that stuff. And it basically takes you to relax to natural hair. I have no, none whatsoever. I have no relaxed hair in my hair anymore. Anymore. This is just like a hair time where this is not my hair. But this, like, I have no relaxed hair anymore. And it doesn't even get, like, when I wash it, I can just brush through it. And I usually just use this brush that I got from Walmart. It's like this little, like, I guess you could say, um, wide tooth brush. 
and it combs right through the curls, like right through it. And it's really neat. But um, that's what I use. I think this kit and all costs thirty dollars because it is Carol's daughter's, but it is so worth it. Um, any cons about it? I really can't say any cons about it, which I wish like I got more for thirty dollars, like more. But believe me, this is enough. Like this, this is enough. I really liked it. Um, but I'm not gonna give Carol's daughters all the credit of going from relaxed natural. Um, <clears throat> most of the some of the best things that were on my head while I was transitioning was the olive oil edge control. This stuff is so good. It's like although we are going from relax to natural, we don't have to have like nappy edges or anything. You don't have to put spritz on your hair, weigh your hair down with spritz or black gel. You don't have to do anything like that. Cause you basically have a perm in a box right here. And this is the perfect like this is a perfect thing for you when you're trying to go from relax natural because it slicks your edges down really well. Really well. And I must advise you, use that stuff when you finish washing your hair. Like after your hair is washed because I mean it works on like hair that hasn't been washed, like if it's oily or something. But it works really, really good when your hair is clean. When your hair is clean. And that's why I use, like, to slick my edges down. And it works so, so, so good. The only thing I can say is, after a while, if you don't wash your hair, that is. Like, I would say after a week or so, if you keep adding it and you keep packing the product on top of each other, of course, it's going to have, like, some type of residue. Because you just can't keep packing on something on your hair and expect it not to build up. I mean, it's going to build up. So you have to wash, I mean, I would advise you to wash your hair. Or of course, you're going to have like little like, you know, white residue. But that's one thing I can say. Unlike gel and spritz and all that other kind of stuff, this stuff, it doesn't flake. Like, it doesn't flake at all. Like it says in the box, it really like it really holds your hair together and I'm not doing this because they gave me like any type of credit because they did it this stuff really works I tried it and I was like happy and ever since then ever since then which is when I was dancing like um, when I just graduated from high school like maybe a year ago or two but um I was a dancer well I am a dancer and um we had we had to wear this on our head for our, to keep our hair in place during performances. And usually we use spritz, but I guess my coach discovered this, and ever since then we've been wearing it. But that's pretty much the um, the reason why my hair is like it is today. And of course, like while I um, I'm just gonna give you a look of how like the curl pattern of my hair, if you can see. It's really curly, really, really curly. And there's no curl activator on my hair or anything. Um, the main thing I can say, which the last pointer is, always try to keep your hair moisturized. Because the, the Carol's Daughter stuff, it keeps your hair more moisturized. But if you want to, like, a lot, a lot of moisture, I would say um, every day just... Um, not every day, but every other day, you can wash your hair just with conditioner alone. And then after that, you apply a leave-in conditioner. Um, um, the leave-in conditioner I use mostly is Cantu leave-in conditioner. It comes like in a, in a little jar, and I'll have a picture of it at the end of this video. But it comes like in a little jar, and I put that in my hair. I either put Cantu or um, the hair mayonnaise by um, Organic Food Company or something like that. And I'll also put a picture of that. But just keep your hair moisturized and it will stay like this. And eventually your hair will go from relaxed to natural by using this stuff. And of course, if you want to control those naps, you can use this stuff. But I don't know. I really like I really liked how my hair has turned out. It's soft. It's not crunchy. It's not hard. It's not nothing. But hopefully you'll like it. Um, 
and hopefully you like you like this video. It'll make you subscribe to my my channel. And thank you. Have a nice day.